Matt? Yes. My mind. That was a good. That was a good movie. That was a. Yeah, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. I liked it. Yeah. I I thought. So I didn't. I didn't think it was like great. I didn't think really? It was, I didn't think it was as good as the original. Okay, the original was great. The yeah. original was really good. Yeah, yeah, there was like. I don't know. It wasn't as like. It was scary. Energetic as the first one. No, it wasn't. It didn't have the Freddy. Like the Freddy cheese that even the first one had. But, so the plot, oh my, how would you describe the plot? Uh, it's meta. It's meta as fuck. Yeah, meta. It's very meta. It's Wes Craven, who made the first one and then co directed the third one. No, co wrote the third co-wrote one. Co wrote the third one. He uh, is the, the, the actress from the original one. Other one in game. Plays herself. And plays Robert himself. Robert England plays himself, which was weirding me out. Does he also play Freddy? He also played Freddy, yes. <laughs> you know, in the credits, Freddy's credited as himself. Okay, yeah, but Freddy was... Robert, Eng- Robert England was Freddy again, as he has to be. But um, she plays herself, and her world, like, she's, like, directed, uh, like, approached by New Line Studios to make another... Nightmare on Elm Street movie, but apparently Wes Craven has been writing these films in order because he gets these nightmares or something, and there's some evil entity that has taken a hold of Freddy, and now that the Freddy movies are over, he's out in the real world, and in order to stop him, they have to make another film, which is this film. Yes. No, yeah, it's like real meta, because in the movie, they keep talking about the movie they're in. Yeah, which as is- it's going. Kind of creepy, yeah. Like, the way they play it, yeah. Because it's like, because uh, she'll be like talking to like the other. She'll be talking to like Robert England or uh, Wes Craven, and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I had this nightmare about this thing," and it's like the exact things that are happening. Yeah, in her life. So I don't know what you're talking. I really like this movie, actually. I like it. It was. I thought it was scary. I really appreciated it finally being scary again. The police, they're after us. It's over. It's over. Uh, it's no one I want to talk to, I guarantee. Never mind, it's my grandmother. Hello! Oh, nothing. Nothing absolutely normal. Absolutely normal. James, I swear, if you got naked on camera. <laughs> How how posting what is it all over the internet? What is your definition of naked? <laughs> uh, dicks out. Dicks. Is Harambe relevant anymore? No, <laughs> Harambe <laughs> was not relevant. Like, like four months after Harambe died, <sighs> Harambe was a good meme. He was a good meme while it lasted. Was he a normie meme? All right, this isn't the. Uh, or anything. Uh, we were talking about Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> okay, uh, so... I don't even remember what we were saying. Uh, we were talking about how meta it was. And Robert yeah. England. Oh, and, Robert oh yeah, England. how... Uh, no, oh, yeah, I was actually scared. And you know what? They just tugged at my heartstrings. I talk about that scene in the very first one a lot where she's put up to the ceiling and it's super scary and actually freaked me out. They did it again. And I think that just tugged at my heartstrings a lot. Yeah, I mean... But what's up with, like, modern-looking Freddy? He had, like, a trench coat, and he looked it, all it angsty. Dark Freddy. Dark Freddy. He, See, that's the matchup we need. Dark Freddy versus Uber Jason from Jason X. Jason X was a bad movie, though. That video hasn't come out yet. What? Uh, oh, it hasn't? No. Oh. This is uh, 94. I... Oh, I we haven't seen it, I swear. Uh, we're watching this. It's October. It's all good. Um, what was I good? Oh, yeah, there, there was a lot of, like, cute references to the first movie. Which, like, I kind of went back and forth on because I'm like, okay, nice touch. You're acknowledging the first film, but at the same time, it's like, we saw that already. You can't. 
I don't know, I think it works because this movie has more going on than just, hey, remember the first film? Yeah. So when it does go, hey, remember the first film, I think it works. I, I, at first I was kind of afraid that Freddy was going to be this, like, humorless behemoth, a humorless evil entity. I'm like, oh, okay, come on, do something a little sticky. But then he had some pretty, he had some interesting jokes and some interesting thing, like the, whenever he, like, the, the lady, he, Julie, the babysitter, he was taken up to the ceiling. He's like, you ever played Skin the Cat? I'm like, all right, that was, you know, um, I like that. Yeah. I lost my train of thought. Train of thought. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I will say, uh, this is very proto Scream because it's. Aren't like, you wearing the Scream t shirt? Yes. Wow. On purpose. On purpose. Because Scream was Wes Craven and it was like two years after I this. Need to watch, I need to watch that movie. It's, it's good. It's good. Like, is it scary? Yeah. Okay, good. I and mean, there's like a good mystery and it's like. Uh, it's call, call it's the, also very meta, but in a much more humorous way than this one is. Um, but I mean, this one has a lot of stuff. Like, apart from just being meta, there's also like, like she keeps getting phone calls, which is a thing in Scream. Mm. There's something else that was also in Scream that I don't remember. But I was like, oh, is, they use that again in Scream. Is yeah, oh. it's almost like he's setting up for it or something, I guess. Yeah. Um, what else did Wes Craven make? Uh, Scream, The Hills Have Eyes, Last House on the Left. So he just make, he likes horror movies, I guess? I, actually, I think it was like, because he made a few horror movies, and then he's like, I want to make these other movies, and they but his it. horror movies were the only ones that were popular. And so he, he went back to horror films. Yeah. Um... He didn't. Even, he like didn't even want to do Scream, but then he's like, "Well, Hills Have Eyes was really popular and stuff. All right, I'll I'll direct it. I'll direct Scream." And then he ended up directing all the sequels just so the studio would let him like make the movies he wanted. There were s- sequels to Scream. There were four. What? They make so many of these movies. Evidenced by the fact that how many have we watched? I've watched like eleven films. You've watched eleven. This is my twenty-sixth. Oh, Matt, you have no life. <laughs> you have no life. Um, I mean, what else is there to say about this movie? It was it was good. Decent. It was scary. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. I was gonna say Freddy didn't show up till the one hour mark. It was like the yeah. It was the it was the Wait, new the new Godzilla movie of Freddy movies. But it it kind of worked. Yeah, because it's like because the the build up was well paced and thoughtful. Yeah, it was kind of like ooh, what's what's going on here? It's kind of trippy. You mean like actual Freddy didn't show up? Like you see yes. his face. Yeah. Or was it like whenever he showed up, he's like, ah, I'm back. <laughs> Dead air. <laughs> Do you mean when Robert England showed up dressed as Freddy? Oh, yeah. When that was actual good. actual Freddy that was up? That was so weird. I was just so weirded out when I thought it was like, oh, it's going to be another one of these. Oh, I'm actually back. Like, she's on a talk show and Robert England shows up as Freddy. And then afterwards, they're like, there's just Robert England." I'm like, what the hell? And Robert England's like this chill, like, hippie painter dude. Yeah. Which, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Even he's affected by the nightmares. There's a part where he's, like, painting, and he, there's, like, Freddy. He's painting Freddy because he's been having nightmares about himself. That's so weird. Yeah. No, it's, it's very creepy, very effective. Um... Special effects were bad. It was 94. Like, the practical effects all worked. Except for the the demon when Freddy turned into a demon and exploded. Yeah, that was a special effect. Was it? Oh, practical effects. Practical as in, like, when he killed the girl and dragged her up to the ceiling. Oh, okay. That was good. What else? Um, well, for a movie that came out in the mid-90s, comparing this to, like, 
Halloween H2O or Halloween Resurrection or Jason X, which we haven't watched yet. Oh, it, oh. yeah, it, 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 Halloween 20. It takes place 20 years after the first one. H2O. Oh, it's called H2O. Is it like, is he underwater? No. Is he a scuba diver? No. No? <laughs> it's just called Halloween H20. It's called Halloween H20. Yes. It's not called H20. It's called Halloween H20 20 years later. That's redundant. <laughs> you know how redundant that redundancy is? That is the most redundant redundancy I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> it's a bad title. <laughs> H H two O wasn't that like a teen sitcom in the late nineties oh, about mermaids was it? Oh. about mermaids remember yeah, that that was that was the early aughts early I don't care it's all the same nineties kids nineties kids more like shit culture <laughs> right right oh we had SpongeBob though well what else did we have what what do we have terrible terrible sitcoms lazy cartoons and. Rugrats. It's not actually that good. <laughs> Rugrats isn't that good. I never watched Rugrats. It's not good. Actually. It's boring. The pacing's awful. What, what did we have in the early aughts? Jimmy Neutron. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. His his entire his entire memory is altered by Jimmy Neutron. He's <laughs> he's got a wig on the brain. You can't ask him about the early aughts without him just raving about Jimmy Neutron. It was a weird show. He was he was in love with it. He, he, Dexter's Lab, okay. Powerpuff Girls, okay. they were Cow just, and Chicken. Cow and Chicken wasn't that good either. <laughs> it was just stupid. Yeah, but I liked it. We were kids. Johnny Bravo. Okay, that was alright. What else was there? Uh, Samurai Jack was good. Samurai Jack. Alright. Nightmare on Elm Street. You for it, new Nightmare? Wes Craven's New Nightmare? 94. 94, that's, that's before I was born. That's when I was born. So, I was born in the year of the Rwandan genocide and the second best Nightmare on Elm Street film. Yes. Yeah. Are we done? This is going to be like the longest video. Oh, yeah. Oh, Which right. I guess is fair, because this is the longest movie. It's a two-hour movie. I, all of the others... Or between an hour twenty and an hour forty. I thought it. I thought it deserved it. Yeah, it works perfectly fine. Five, four, four claws out of five. You heard it here, folks. Harambe is not dead. Harambe is dead. That's not new. Uh, I think they were working on the other end of the music. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, uh, four, better shut your door. Five, six. Grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, better stay up late. Nine, ten, a big fat head. No. Yes. Your country oh, wants you. The are bigger and there's more like, shelf space. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Yes. Ah! 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 
Have you seen this French film? It's called The Patrol with Mel Gibson. <laughs> it's, it's, it's French. <laughs> <laughs>